Hello everyone, Jaeger here, and we're going to be going over how to stream Fate Grand Order. It's uh, not terribly hard to do, but uh, there are a couple caveats into streaming Fate because the application itself has uh, some heavy restrictions on it. Uh, you can't stream it on a phone that is rooted or has developer options enabled. So that leads to some roadblocks. Uh, a couple streaming um, applications out there require you to uh, enable USB debugging under the developer options uh, so that you can connect the phone to uh, the computer. But unfortunately, that's not an option with Fate because it won't let you load the program. So what I found was uh, MobiZen, actually um, this program here, um, streams over Wi-Fi. And uh, so that's uh, the loophole, the going, the way to go around uh, that caveat with uh, USB developer options. So with that out of the way, um, uh, what do I do to stream? How do how do we stream it? Um, we use OBS um, as the streaming software and recording software. How this video is being brought to you. And uh, I use Blender to edit my videos. Um, and all three of these programs are free. So that, and they're not terribly hard to use. Uh, once you get through a little bit of learning curve uh, through Blender, uh, it becomes a decently powerful tool in uh, video editing. So uh, moving on, uh, we're going to go into uh, just connecting up. Uh, uh, right now I have my tablet set to connect. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to connect to it and just show you a little bit on how I set up OBS and MobiZen. Uh, to stream and to show you guys how to uh, stream this game. So um, you do have to set up an account with uh, MobiZen. So all it requires is an email and a password. But other than that, uh, once you're done with that, once you set up an account, you uh, hit connect. And um, the um, application requires you to have uh, MobiZen installed on the device you're streaming from as well. So with that, I have a uh, Samsung tablet, Samsung tablet, sorry. And um, so I installed MobiZen for Samsung on the tablet as well. And as you'll see here, we're going to hit connect. We're going to go to my tablet, which is this one, and hit OK. And there will be a two-step verification, um, which I skipped here because I've already like connected it before. So um, once you do that two-step verification, it'll lead you to this screen here. Uh, it's asking you to upgrade to the Pro version, which you obviously have the choice of getting or not getting. Um, but uh, once you load up, uh, you turn on the application for MobiZen on your tablet, this is what you get with. So you have um, a notification that it's connected, and it's connected through Wi-Fi. Perfect, so that we can stream. And uh, we have uh, the account here which you guys can reach me at this account if uh, at this email address, uh, whichever you please if you need. And um, you can also record the screen natively on the device. But uh, I've encountered a couple issues where frame rates aren't exactly um, a standard. I, I've seen like one video that I tried recording on that. It was like a 41. So I generally try not to record videos on the device unless it's like a quick you know, I don't need to do transitions or I don't need to um, cut between scenes or anything like that, um, unless it's just like a quick and dirty um, short video for you guys. Um, other than that, um, it's pretty simple and straightforward. So um, in order to get OBS to recognize um, MobiZen, uh, you don't. You actually have to create a um, display capture, and that's what I've done here which you'll see uh, this is a full display capture of this, um, of this display. I have two displays running. Um, only it makes it easier since I have a lot of stuff up when I'm streaming. But um, you can do this on one display. I do stream from my laptop every now and then. So um, what you do is you need to make a capture, uh, a display capture. And then once you've uh, made the display capture, you edit it in order to um, in order to crop everything else out. So what we do is we display capture here. We um, right click on it and hit the filters button. And then we'll see a, um, a filter effect filters here. It'll actually be blank. Um, 
just completely gone. So it'll just be like this by default. So what you do is you just hit, go to here to the bottom and you crop and you hit OK. And then you crop out everything else in the screen just so that you can get um, the, the tablet the display right here. So um, I, I generally move it down here in a corner so that I have more real estate to work with around it. And then I crop left to right, top to bottom, all that good stuff. So just doing that real quickly. Um, here we go. And then you can highlight and use up and down to um, modify it e much more easily. Top. Cut the top out real quick. And you, um, the versatility of Mobi Zen is that you can use the application itself uh, through the tab through the PC to control the tablet. So here we go. I'm going to hit the home button, and it goes to home. I can uh, click and drag to swipe, and then uh, then we go to the applications. Unfortunately, um, the basic Mobi Zen uh, without the audio adapter. It does not transfer audio through the stream or through the mirror uh, to the PC. So you do have to figure out another way on how to do audio uh, from the game. Um, so what I do is I have a mic uh, set up to pick up the audio as well. And um, so uh, after the cropping is done, we can um, set up our scene. And I'll show you this scene here that I'm going to set up, which Let's see here. Here we go. So this scene here, um, I've already have it cropped and everything. And uh, if you recognize this is from my last stream and uh, video regarding the aftermath of uh, the Nero Fest. But anyway, so we have it cropped. Uh, this is a rough prop. It's not exact because I was using my uh, phone instead of my tablet to stream from. But you get the picture, you know, uh, relatively simple. So from here, we can uh, hit record on uh, OBS to start recording our video or start streaming. Hit the start streaming button to start streaming as well. Um, and you can obviously edit this and figure out, you know, uh, work on that as well. Now, along with streaming, you can um, edit videos as well uh, through OBS, or not through OBS, sorry, through uh, Blender. And that's what I mainly use to edit my videos. So we're going to go back out of this. And we're going to go back out of the full screen here. Ooh, let me uh, edit this again because I didn't save that. Oops. So yeah, it might be a, it's a little bit of a tedious process here. Uh, no big deal. But anyway, so we just open up Blender and Blender comes up here. And I'm going to close out Moby's end because say this is, this is the part where we're done. We're done with um, our video and we just need uh, to edit it or something to um, edit, edit some transitions, add some things, uh, whatever we need to do. And so I'll do, uh, I'll post up or I'll show you guys the little workflow that I had um, right here. Oh, come on, open it up. And that's okay, we don't need that. I'll just open it from the files. So as you can see here, we have Blender. And we can throw in our audio and video files um, that uh, are created through OBS into the uh, Blender program, and they pop up here. So, um, oh, video's not showing up. I think I moved that video file. But anyway, so you get the picture. It's a nonlinear video editor that um, that's very useful to use uh, for editing, and it's free, so no big deal. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much everything you need in order to um, stream Fate uh, from the PC. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to leave me a comment or send me a message. And uh, see you guys next time. Thank you.